Meanwhile, of course, the Olympics was expected to bring a big retail boost to central London, but for many of the shops and services in London's West End district, the games have been fairly disappointing. Warnings about overcrowding and travel problems seem to have put off residents and tourists alike. This, as the British Retail Consortium says, that retail sales growth slowed in the month of July. The BRC blaming a spell of wet weather for the poor numbers, noting that a pre-Olympics boost hasn't materialised. The numbers show just 0.1% rise in like-for-like -like sales compared to last year. Now, that survey went up to the end of July, just as the Olympics was getting underway. Joining us for more is Jace Tyrrell, Head of Communications and Operations for the new West End Company. Jace, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Nuro Rabini has been talking about empty London streets. Look, just tell us, from your point of view, since the opening ceremony a week ago, uh, a week and a bit more ago now, isn't it? Um, what has happened? What's, what's happened with trade? Well, uh, definitely quieter than we anticipated on the first few days. Obviously, people glued to the TVs and sort of watching, you know, the opening ceremony and, and the few days after. I think as, as retailers, we knew it would be a very different trading pattern for the Olympics. And we've seen this with Sydney, with Beijing, with Athens as well. And not as quiet as we thought it was going to be, to be honest. But I think uh, London has certainly heeded the advice. They stayed off the, the transport network and obviously staying out of the centre of London. However, in the last couple of days, we have seen some good improvements, some double digits growth in foot for and sales over the weekend but so that's is it just the footfall or is it actually the sales too that are seeing a lift Football definitely up and sales obviously going with that as well. I think uh, what we're hearing from retailers is a very different type of shopper in at the moment. So a lot of spectators are here and people like that. They're hoping the bounce will come post the games when a lot of the usual tourists will come back to London over those end of August into September. And of course, somewhere like the West End, we have a huge influx of the Middle East market that comes straight around Eid and sort of post Ramadan. Again, very high spending tourists and, and retail spenders. So we hope that will help sort of recover some of the losses so, we've made. Is it fair, fair to say the, the, the Olympic tourists have come, have shut out the normal tourists, and those Olympic tourists until the last couple of days haven't really been spending in the West End. They might have been spending down at Westfield and Stratford, but not necessarily in the West End. Correct. I think it's a very different type of person here at the moment in London. So you've got a lot of spectators, a lot of corporates that are here with the games. Mm. So it's a very different trading pattern as we expected. Retailers aren't surprised by this, though. We have looked at other Olympics. So, it is a common trend. Any major efforts to bring people specifically back to the West End now? Well, I think we worked really hard with Boris and TFL Transport for London last week to try and change those messages to get people back on the tube and back into the centre. And okay. we'll see if it's working. Jace Tyrell of the new West End Company. Thanks so much for coming by. All right,